Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T. And today I am sharing with you my most recent make, which is this vest. And I made it by using McCall's 8050 and I made view B. Now the reason why I made this dress, my inspiration for making this garment is because I have gaps in my wardrobe and one specific area of gaps includes layering pieces. And I actually just made a video of my plans to fill those gaps after I made this vest. So I will put a card up above and a link to that in the description box below if you are interested. So again, I would like to have more layering pieces and my wardrobe and I noticed this pattern one day during a McCall sale and I decided to go ahead and just pick it up because of how simple it is to make this vest and I actually love this I used to wear them all the time but I haven't worn one in a while due to the increase of my weight after I had the two babies and not being able to fit into the ones I've already had so I like vests because you can dress them up you can dress them down and you can change the whole appearance of an outfit just by adding a vest depending on what the fabric is that your vest is made of another reason why I like vests is because I am a very festive person I love holidays and I love dressing per occasion so you you know I dress accordingly and I will even go as far as like making a whole outfit dedicated to the specific holiday of or occasion but of course that sometimes takes a lot of fabric and a lot of time for something that you'll probably only wear a few times so I thought to myself why not make it in a vest form uh, this year and just use it as a layer you know so don't be surprised if come fall you see me in a vest with fall leaves pumpkins candy canes hearts and everything else you can imagine because this vest comes together very quickly i can layer the vest and use it per occasion and i won't even have to think twice about sewing it up because it won't take that long so just so that you know <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get into the review of this pattern and I use McCall's 8050 like I said earlier view B. This is actually a muslin that is wearable but I don't like the fabric so I don't know how much wear I will get out of it but we'll talk about that a little later. So again I made view B which is the longest version of the vest. And I actually do not prefer the length of this view, but I just left it as is because when I was cutting the fabric, I knew I probably wouldn't like the length, but I just kept the length long so that you can get an idea of how long it can be and how it looks on an actual person. But in the future, I will make the length of view C and D. So the pattern description is Mrs. Petite Unlined Vest online vest <laughs> in two lengths and the vest that I am wearing like I said earlier is the longest length the vest has the options of having four buttons or three buttons two buttons or no buttons at all and I decided to not put any buttons on mine because like I said I don't like the fabric because I don't like the way it feels and lays and so I doubt that I would be wearing it that often and I didn't want to go through the trouble of putting buttons on mine but normally if I did like the fabric and how it felt, I would have put at least three buttons on. So the vest also has options of putting slits on the sides, but I closed my seam so there, there's no slits on mine. Um, there are tie options for the backs and I did put tie options on mine. And there are options for patch pockets as well, but I don't like how patch pockets look on vests, so I did not sew those on mine. The sewing skill level for this is rated as easy and it is very easy. It can't, couldn't be any easier. I have not sewn anything this quick actually and easy in a while. So you got a twofer, quick and easy. Um, adding the buttons and buttonholes, if, if I went that option would have made the process a little longer, but not by much, especially since I sewed my buttons and buttonholes on by machine. So it still would have been quick and easy. 
Um, the pattern has 13 pattern pieces that's included, but I only used seven pattern pieces to make my vest. And those pattern pieces included the front, the back, the tie straps, the back facing, front facing, back arm facing, and the front arm facing. The notions that you need, of course, is going to be your thread and buttons. But again, I chose not to use buttons, and you can too. It was the suggested fabrics is cotton and cotton blend, chalet crepe, linen, denim, gabardine, synthetic leather, lightweight corduroy, lightweight wool, and wool blends, lightweight tapestry, and lightweight velveteen. So yeah. <laughs> This pattern has been made to go along with many different fabric types from lightweight to heavier fabric. So you definitely have plenty of options here. So the pattern sizes is small to extra, extra large. So to me, in my opinion, this is a very size inclusive pattern. And the finished measurements for the size small bus is 39 inches and the double XL is 54 and a half inches. So like I said, very size inclusive especially on the bigger end. Uh, the size that I cut is a large, but again, it's kind of big under the armholes, but I didn't try to fix it at the time of construction because I didn't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing due to making sure that there was room to fit my arm through the hole when wearing other clothes, you know, during the layering process. Um, but as I was wearing the vest, I wore it, wore it out and about and I wore it to work, I made the decision that the arm size should be smaller by an inch or inch and a half. So um, I think it would look much better that way, especially if I wore a tank top underneath. So it does look like the pattern drawing on the front, I, in my opinion. And I do feel like the instructions were easy to follow, couldn't have been any easier in my opinion. And the things that I love about the pattern is that the vest is unlined. Yes, unlined. That makes for a fast and easy make. However, you do have to make sure that your fabric is going to be something that looks good on both the outside and the inside so that it still looks good in the event of the wind blowing it up and then it's been made visible to others on the inside so you might definitely want to consider that and I also like the length options that comes along with this pattern there's nothing that I dislike about it like I said I, I like the pattern it's very very good and very beginner friendly and not time consuming um, so the fabric that I use is this solid black cotton blend that I picked up from Joann's and I thought I had picked up the right type type of cotton but it's very stiff and scratchy and I don't know it's just not good quality um, and it kind of reminds me of like a broad cloth mixed with linen just and it's kind of transparent too yeah so I don't, I don't like it at all um, it seemed right at the store but when I started unfolding and cutting it up, I, it didn't feel right. And so I knew right away that, you know, this was just going to be a muslin. So, you know, you probably wondering why did I just move forward and continue to make it? Well, I had already bought the fabric and I did want to test this out and make a muslin because of the issues that I have with the arm side. And so I wanted to test it to fit that the way it fit under the arm and I didn't pay much I didn't pay very much for the fabric at all anyway so I thought this would be a good way to test it out and not feel bad about the fabric that I cut into if it didn't come out to fit the way that I wanted it to fit which that did happen so I am glad that I did this however it is wearable it does not look bad it's just I just don't like the way it feels so that is a win and I would definitely make it in another fabric that will make this vest even better so yes the only changes that I made with the was with the instructions and it says to finish the exposed edges of the facings with the serger or zigzag stitch and I use bias binding instead because I don't like the look of zigzag stitch and I didn't want to rethread my serger <laughs> and, and this is what that looks like if you can see 
So I did not make any modifications. I don't have any recommendations. And I just paired this with a ready to wear top that I already had and a ready to wear skirt. So now I will enter clips and pictures to show you more of my vest. So that is it for my McCall's 8050 vest. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope you liked how my vest looks even though I prefer a shorter one. And I also hope you enjoyed the suggestions given for different ways that a vest can benefit your wardrobe. If you did, please like this video, click the like button and stay tuned to the channel because i will be making more garments to fill the gaps in my wardrobe and i will also be posting the grand finale for the fruity fashion collection which is going to be the very last uh, garment for that series and within that i am going to be doing my giveaway and that's going to be posting real real soon so again make sure you stay tuned make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified whenever i upload a video yeah thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers and i will see you in the next video bye